Hello, third grade, and welcome to our Edulastic Prefix and Suffix practice. Remember, when we are talking about prefixes and suffixes, we are adding words to a root word. So for these examples, we are adding different prefixes to usual. The first prefix is re, which means to do again. The second one is dis, which means not un, which means not, and pre, which means before, because a prefix goes before a root word. Root word can stand on its own, usual. Let's see which word would fit best in the sentence. It is reusual, disusual, unusual, or preusual to get a bad grade in Mrs. Adams' class. Probably not usual, and un means not. Click unusual and then click next. Now what does the prefix re mean? I'm gonna give you some examples and then I want you to choose what re means. Like replay, replay means to play, Redo means to do blank. Revisit. What does re mean? Choose the word that fits best. Then click next. Number three. You have to blank the oven before you bake the pizza. Preheat, unheat, reheat, or disheat. What do you have to do before, I see this keyword right here, before you bake the pizza? Which prefix means before? Choose the one that you think fits best. Which one means before? Then click next. We are blank that we will get an A on this test. Now all of these words have a suffix. Something that is added at the end of a root word to change the meaning. Less, full, er, li. Our root word is hope. Hope, it can stand on its own. We are hopeless that we will get an A on this test. We are hopeful that we will get an A on this test. We all hope er. Hoper is not a word, so it's definitely not that one. We are hopely. Hopely is also not a word, so it's definitely not, not that one. Well, you might be full of hope that you would get an A on a test. So let's click hopeful. Full means you have a lot of it, a lot of hope. Number five, the blank has to make sure that the students are learning. The teachless, that's not a word. The teachful, that's not a word. The teacher li that has two prefixes, two suffixes, er and ly, or the teacher. Choose the one that fits best. The teach what has to make sure that the students are learning. Number six. We went blank after dinner. We went walkful, we went walkly, we went walking, we went walked after dinner. Choose the one that fits best. Remember suffixes get added at the end of a word. So what does the suffix full mean? As in the word hopeful, grateful, thankful. It means that you are blank, blank, 
of what? Choose the meaning of full and then click next. What does the word hopeless mean? Well, I know what hope means. It means that you are looking forward to something, you're hoping. Less means without. Less means without. So hopeless means without hope. Choose without hope and then click next. Redraw means to draw again. Well, draw means draw, so that's right. Re means to do again. Let me put it onto a different root word to double check. Redo. That means to do again. So that is true. And number 10, unequal means that an equation is the same on both sides. Well, I know equal would mean that they would be the same on both sides, but this has the prefix un, and un means not, not equal. So this would be false. Make sure that you have answered all of the questions five, six, seven, all of the ones that I had you answer on your own, those five. Then you may submit and move on to the next activity for today.